Hello everybody. Um, I've never made a video for YouTube before. Um, I've made videos, but not specifically for YouTube. So um, I hope this goes okay. It's a bit of an amateur setup and there seem to be some noises outside the studio, people at home doing a lot of DIY. So I hope this goes through okay. Um, now you're going to need, if you're following along, um, various bits and pieces to make what we're going to make and I'll tell you in a minute what it is but first you're going to need a ruler, pencil, maybe some coloured pens, I don't know, a bit of old glue, some kind of a knife, I use a scalpel um, and if you're cutting you're going to need to cut on something aren't you? Not your best table and also a bit of card whatever just to put on the back. So what are we going to make? Just get rid of all this junk and I'll show you. This is my high-tech mirror. I thought of this idea. Um, I'm quite pleased with myself. So <laughs> get rid of these. There he's gone. And we're going to make this, which you might know um, if you follow us on Facebook. Um, they're actually really beautiful, I think, and not too difficult to make. And because we're all at home looking for things to do, then this takes a bit of time, but it's not that difficult and you need you know, something on the back to hold it. Um, so shall we start? <clears throat> now I've been watching YouTube videos, so I have to keep saying you guys, don't I? Um, so you guys need a four paper and you guys need, okay, I'll stop it. Two sheets, two sheets of A4. If you want to work bigger or smaller, of course, that's OK. Um, but you will need two sheets and I think not squares so we could get the proportions right. So please, two sheets of A4. This is just ordinary, plain white paper. But of course, you can use colours and patterns as you wish. So shall we start? Um, if you need to pause, of course, pause. Start by folding long side to long side. and open out. Now I guess you know if you're origami people that this is a valley fold, turn it over, this is a mountain fold, yes? Um, if you don't do much origami then perhaps these are new words but I'll be using them quite a bit today. So valley fold and mountain fold on the other side. Of course it's the same fold. Now what we're going to do is from the left side all the way across to the right side we're going to fold into 32 Hmm, 32. How do we do that? Well, I'll show you. First of all, fold in half, carefully. And then fold into quarters. So if I'm going too fast, just keep pausing the video. But if I work at your speed, then I don't know your speed, do I? So I have to work at my speed and please keep pausing. Turn around. Do the same on the other side. And we fold it into four and everything is a valley. So to fold into 32, we start with four and then eight and then 16 and then 32. Now we need to fold into eight. So the way to do this is if you want, you can use a pencil, but I'm going to use one of these colored things here so you can see better. So at the bottom here, I'm just going to put an X and then in the middle, nothing and then an X at the top. So if you are using a pencil, you can erase everything at the end. Now what I do is I take the edge to the first X and make a fold and then open it and fold to the top X up here, top X. So can you see what we've done here on the left side? And then we repeat on the other end. So turn the paper round and now we do the same on this side. So again, the edge goes to the first X. There we go. Open and then to the top X. And by doing that, we divide into eight. Easy, isn't it? Now we need to divide into 16. So again, you can use your pencil or I'll use a different color this time just to make it a bit clearer. And also, um, I think not an X, I'll use another shape. So here at the bottom, the first fold, first fold, circle, nothing, circle, nothing, circle, nothing, 
circle. So four circles. Circle nothing, circle nothing, circle nothing, circle. And then we fold to each circle. And there are four circles, so we make four folds. Fold to the bottom circle and open to the second circle. Open. Third circle. Open. How are you guys doing? Top circle. And open. Turn it round. Do the same from the other side. Now I've got a bit of what can I put there? Just put two, so just hold it flat. Take the edge to the first circle, open to the second, open to the third, open and to the top. Get rid of that, to the top, open. So I've now folded into 16. Easy, isn't it? Now, we need to make an accordion pleat, which means valley mountain, valley mountain, valley mountain, all the way across, which means I need to make mountains between these valleys. Now, if you think about it, to make a mountain means folding behind, and that's really awkward. So the cheat way, the smart way, is this. Turn over. So please, turn your paper over. And now, all the folds you have are mountain folds. Everything is a mountain. There's always going to be somebody doesn't turn over and then it won't work, but mountain folds, please. Now what we do is we put valleys, because that's easy, between all the mountains. So again, we start at the edge and fold the edge to the first mountain. So it's quite a narrow fold, isn't it? Quite a thin edge that we make. Okay, so that's the first valley. Open it. Now watch me please, finger and thumb here, finger and thumb there. I squeeze mountain number one. You see, I'm kind of squeezing the paper so the mountain will stand up. And then I put mountain number one on top of mountain number two, exactly on top. In fact, I can't see the fold, it's underneath. And then open, so that's my second valley. So now I move and I squeeze finger thumb, finger thumb, the second mountain, second, and put it on mountain number three. And again, I don't see my fold. Open, squeeze mountain number three, put it on number four. You get the idea? Just repeat and repeat and repeat, you guys, all the way to the top. Now, if I was sophisticated, I'd speed up the video, wouldn't I? Or bring in one that I'd made earlier. Here we go. Just keep working all the way. Do it properly. Do it carefully. Now, you can stop halfway if you like and turn it round and start at the other end. That's easier for me because if I just continue, I start to work near the top of the table and you'll, I think, begin to see the back of my lovely head over the paper so here and again squeeze the first mountain uh, open it <laughs> just make sure you keep the accuracy more. So we've made an accordion into 32. If you know how to do it with these crosses and circles it's actually quite easy. Now if you want you can erase all these pencil marks that you've made. If you've used a touche like me, mark a pen, then you, <laughs> yes, you can't erase them but that doesn't matter for me does it because I'm the teacher. Right so this is where we start. Now, if, if you remember, the very first fold was this long fold in the middle. And we need to cut this. So I need my cutting surface. It's the back of an old sketch pad. Put this on, put my ruler, knife, 
ruler, knife, and cut. This is more difficult than folding in some ways. Okay, so nice straight cut, hopefully. There we are. Two pieces. <coughs> now, so I said you needed two A4s because you do this with one A4 and then you do the same with another A4. So you have four pieces. A4 cut in two and another A4 cut in two. This is what you need to start with. Though actually you don't need one of these pieces. You only need three. And actually, you don't even need this piece. You need half of this piece. So just put these to the side. Fold this in half. Just find the half fold. Okay, it's that one. Get my board back <clears throat> and cut this in half. Now, if you're making more than one, these extra pieces that you cut or folded then you can use them in the second or third piece that you make. So they're not really wasted all that work. Okay, so now we have one quarter, don't need that, and two halves. So I think I made one earlier that's clean without the two sheets. So just bring this in. Now these are all the pieces that you need. You need to start to glue them together to make a long strip. So let's just kind of move this away for the moment. Okay, now we've got two pieces. Can you see that my first fold here is a valley and also on the other piece it's a valley. Now on one of the pieces, turn it over, turn over. So now the first fold is a mountain and the first fold here is a valley on the other one. They're like that. So can you see you have a mountain on this piece that's the first fold and a valley on that piece. And then you need some paper underneath because the glue might kind of make a bit of a mess. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put glue on this valley rectangle, the first rectangle. So let's see how we do here. This is, a, this is quite old glue. Oh, that's all right. Okay, okay, not too much. Put the top on. And then just overlap one rectangle, one rectangle, not two, just one. So can you see if you overlap one rectangle, the mountain valley, mountain valley, mountain valley, mountain valley, mountain valley pattern continues over the join. Just make sure you can fold that crease. Yep. Okay, so. That's the first join. Just move this off here and bring in the and yes, and bring in the other piece. Now, this is a valley fold, and this is also a valley fold in my right hand for the new piece. Now, if you remember, we need this to be a mountain, so I have to turn the paper over, turn it over. So now I have one mountain and one valley, and I do the same that I did just now. A bit of glue. Doesn't really matter what sort of glue you use. Um, it's not going to be a lot of stress on this, so you could use something like a stick of glue if you like. And then overlap just one rectangle. Overlap one rectangle like that. Okay. Now let's have a look. Can you see I've got a bit of a step here? That doesn't look very nice, does it? That's a bit of a mess. So the edge of the circle might show that step. So what I can do is I can just get my board and my paper, not even sure I need a ruler for this, and just, just do something like that. Have a look at the other one. Is that clean on the left and the right? No, again, there's a bit of a step, tiny step, but we can take it off. There, like that. Okay. Get rid of this, get rid of that. Um, now, we need to um, glue one end to the other end. So one end to the other end to make a circle. Now the problem is I've got mountain and mountain, and I need mountain and valley. I don't want to overlap 
two sections because that makes the paper stiff and it doesn't open properly. So what I have to do is this, to, let me just draw it, to cut off one rectangle. Doesn't matter which end. So again, get my ruler, a knife, and on here, and that, and cut. There we go. Get rid, get rid, get rid. So now when I bring everything together, I've got one mountain and one valley. Can you see that? So I do what I've done a few times already. Put some glue on the valley end, because that's the easiest, easier end to put glue on. Okay, how are you guys doing? Uh, <laughs> And then we can overlap one to there. Have a look, how are we doing? And could the edges clean? Oh, it is, yes, that's nice and clean. I don't need to do any cutting there. Okay, so I have this, this sort of zigzag ring, don't I? Now, just begin to fold up all the, you know, all the creases, just strengthen everything. Don't need to hold every fold in your hands, just some of them at a time, but just put some strength into these folds. Make sure you do them all. I think I'm going around again, am I? Okay, so everything is there. Something like this. Now the next step, this is where you all go, <laughs> he can't do it. Um, because it's a bit of a fumble and a bit of a mess. Sometimes it goes really nicely and it's, it's other times you have to fight it a bit and get a bit mad. So let's see how it goes. What I need to do is to open this out flat on the table. Um, so just kind of try and get it into a bit of a bunch. Such a professional here. And kind of push it flat. Now it's not very neat and tidy, but it's flat. But once it's down on the table, you can go round and just make it you know, tidy and you know, sort of neat and kind of pretty. And just make sure you fold everything and everything has equal kind of weight and strength. This can take a kind of minute or two, but it's important because then the fan will look, wow. Let's go round. here. Now if I let go it might stay or it might just ping up. Ooh. Well it pings up gently so that's kind of going into the middle. Now from here you've got a choice. You can glue this to a piece of card, something strong, with a hole in the middle because maybe you want to keep a hole in the middle of this. Or you can push it together to close the middle up and then you maybe don't need a hole in this piece of backing card. So once you've got to this point, so once you've got to this point, I think I won't do this, I think you know what to do. Then you can get some glue, put glue on your card, put the card on here, maybe put a book on the top just to hold it down. Um, and this is basically it. Um, quite easy to do if you fold carefully, I guess that's the key, isn't it? And oof, that looks not that quite nice and this is a blue one I made with no opening here in the middle um, so you can hang these on the wall you can 
put little messages on them or perhaps patterns. You can do computer printouts, use patterned paper, use all kinds of you know, devices to make really interesting ones. You can make them big as well. But what you have to do, it's very important, is use this particular proportion of paper folded into 32. So A4, A3, A2, whatever size you're using. Um, and if you want to put more lines in or less in, then you have to change the proportion of the paper a little bit. It's actually quite subtle to make it flatten down and look calm and peaceful rather than stressed or stay as a kind of volcano like this. Um, so that was my first YouTube video. Woo! Big boy now. Um, so, so if you liked it, um, please leave a comment and maybe I'll make more. Um, so as they say, be kind or be quiet in your comments, please. Um, and thank you very much. And I hope everybody is safe and well. And if you enjoy this, please share it, teach it to your friends, your family, make them yourself, maybe post pictures online. You can post to our Facebook if you wish. And thank you very much, everybody. Bye for now.